السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله وصلى الله على النبي الأمي Today something interesting happened uh, just before Isha uh, just a few minutes before we pray the Isha Salat I was praying two rakats uh, optional prayers and uh, when I had finished praying uh, an older gentleman came up to me and uh, he said oh I'm sorry I was speaking loudly uh, in this prayer hall, in this musalla at our masjid, and uh, I don't feel good. It wasn't good of me to talk so loudly when you were praying salat, <clears throat> especially because you, as an imam, you always encourage us to be respectful when people are praying salat. So I feel like I broke that rule by talking so loudly while you were praying. So I said, It's okay, it's okay, it's fine. And then as I went to pray Isha salat, uh, then I remembered this amazing concept in our deen that is uh, self-reformation is basically when a person reaches that level where they are able to fulfill the manners and the rights owed to all the entities around him. So whether it be the creation, whether it be the humans, the animals, whether it be the Creator, the Lord, all that, when a person is able to fulfill these rights, then we would say that person has reached perfection in mannerism and akhlaq. And that's what our whole series is about. It's about self-reformation. And uh, basically, so when a person is able to fulfill the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and likewise fulfill the rights of the creation of Allah, whether they be humans, whether they be animals, whatever it is, a person, when a person can fulfill these rights, then that is basically the highest of manners. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is referred to as A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem Wa innaka la ala khuluqin azim You have the highest of manners. So that is our end goal in our spiritual journey is to reach that level. And if we look at uh, some of the very highlighting parts in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's uh, advices, especially the last khutbah that he gave in the hajj that he performed, uh, he mentioned or he advised the ummah that fulfilled the rights of the salat, fulfill the salat, and likewise the slaves. So if we look at those two, one is the rights owed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the other one is rights uh, de demanded and deserved to those who are the weakest amongst in the human uh, society, the slaves. So Nabi Sallallahu is basically highlighting the two extremes. The rights of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and likewise the rights of the weakest of the humans, the slaves, fulfill these rights. So from there we learn that when a person has perfected his mannerism towards the people around him, whether it be parents, siblings, uh, friends, a spouse, children, when a person can fulfill these rights, then we know the person has perfected himself. So may Allah give me tawfiq and all of us tawfiq to uh, at, uh, try to achieve these high goals. And may Allah make it easy for us through His grace. Wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyil ummiyyin.